Hi guys, it's Bhali Rao sir and I welcome to you in my channel English for Learners. Friends, today I am going to teach you a beautiful poem. Right? Would you like it? Yes, you will like it. So before going to start the poem, first watch this screen. A picture is here. Right? What do you see here? You have seen a big tree is hanging there, a branch of the tree, right? Now what is humorous thing is that TV is on without electricity. And one more thing is there, behind that TV a house is there, but usually TV should be inside the house, but TV is hanging there on the branch of the tree. So, so many humorous things you can watch there, right? So, today's title of our poem is Turn off the TV. Shut down the TV. And it is a, one of the uh, poem in SSC board, the third language of English textbook, right? In 10th standard. And I'm sure it will be very helpful to uh, teachers to teach this poem in the classroom. Let's listen the audio of this poem. Hi, we, we are, are the, the children. children. We are mommy. We are daddy. We, we are, are a family. family. And, and this poem is called Turn Off the TV. The TV. My father gets quite mad at me. My mother gets upset. When they catch me watching our new HD TV set, my father yells, Turn that thing off! Mom says, It's time to study! I'd rather watch my favorite TV show with my best buddy. I sneak down after homework and turn the volume. But when she sees me watching it, my mother yells out, No! Dad says, If you don't turn it off, I'll hang it from a tree. I'd rather doubt he'll do it, cause he watches more than me. He watches sports all weekends, and weekday evenings too. While munching chips and pretzels, the room looks like a zoo. So if he ever got the nerve to hang it from a tree, He'd spend a lot of time up there watching it with me. Thank you. How many characters are there in this poem? Yeah, right. A family is there. And in that family, there are mainly three characters. Father, mother, and their son or a boy. It's also called a narrator. Right? Now, see this poem. Turn off the TV. And here, in this story or in this poem, the narrator is a dead boy, that character. And he's telling about uh, his family. So just I shall tell you the summary, what happened in this family. The father has brought a new television set in the house. And this boy his son is very curious, very excited to watch the new television. But uh, his parents are not allowing him to watch the TV. And once, when he was watching TV secretly, and uh, suddenly they caught him, that boy was watching TV. And what was the, their parents' reaction? Very humorous way the poet has described in this poem. Now let's see. The narrator is boy, and boy says, My father gets quite mad at me. Gets quite mad? When my father gets so angry on me. Gets quite mad means to get angry. My mother gets upset. Upset? My mother gets disappointed. Why? Father gets 
that boy's father gets angry and mother gets upset. What is the reason? He explained the next two lines. The reason was that he says that when they catch me watching our new television set, when they catch, they catch me, they saw that the boy, their son was secretly watching their new television set or new TV. And, and that is why so the father was get mad means so angry and mother was upset. Clear? Now you better clear by the picture is given here. Alright? Now see the next time what happened? You know that when a person is angry mood or any type of mood, it express the father was very angry on the boy. And in that angry mood, what the father's reaction is given in the next stanza. My father else, the boy says, my father else, my father shouted, my father screamed on me. What does the father say? Father else, turn that thing off. Means, Shut down that TV. Turn off the TV. In angry mood. Else, it turn that. It, this, this line, this inverted commas shows that father spoke in angry mood. And mom also come there. And mom says, "It's time to study." Mom said to the boy. You should not watch TV. It is a time to study. You have to complete your homework or you have to do your study like this. And the, and the boy was disappointed and he was thinking in his mind, I would rather watch my favorite TV show with my best buddy. He was thinking in his mind, if my father and mother or if my parents does not catch me, does not see me watching TV, I would rather watch my favorite TV program with my best buddy, buddy, with my best friend, with my close friend, I would enjoy. But unfortunately, they had, they saw me. So in second paragraph, father and that mother does, do not allow the boy to watch and they send him to complete his study or to do his study in third time now the boy goes in his room maybe the room is upstairs or the set of upstairs and uh, after some time actually he has completed his study he has completed his homework and again he secretly comes down because he is very curious, he wanted to watch the TV and he said that I sneak down sneak down sneak means move secretly to go secretly quietly I sneak down after homework after homework after completing his homework I sneak down after homework. The boy quietly come down after completing his homework. And turn the set on low. He was curious. He come down where the TV was. And turn the set on. Means he said turn on the TV in low volume. On low means you know, low volume, low sound. Why? Because he do not want to know his parents. But when she sees me watching it, my mother ends out. No! When he was watching TV 
quietly, secretly. But second time again, his mother sees him that he was watching TV and mother else, mother cried loudly and said, No, why are you watching again and again? Though I am telling, don't watch, don't watch. So, the mother was also so angry on him. Mother was so angry and dad also came there and dad says, if you do not, if you don't turn it off, I shall hang it from a tree. Now, second time, dad was so irritated, so angry and in angry mood, he said, if you don't turn it off, I shall, I shall hang it from a tree. Usually what happened? A comic uh, or humorous line is that. Usually what happens? Some of the fathers say that I shall break down the TV. I shall take out the uh, cable. But here father says humorously, in anger, if you don't turn it off, I shall hang it from a tree. The boy was thinking in his mind, I rather doubt he will do it. They know very well about the habit of their parents, behavior of their parents. And so, the boy doubted on his father that he will not do it. Means he will not hang TV to the tree. Why? What is the reason? He said that cause, cause means because, he watches more than me. Boy says, My dad cannot hang TV from a tree because my father watches TV more than me. He has a habit of watching more than me. And that is why he cannot do it. He doubted in his mind. What he watch? Boy says he watches sports all weekend. At the end of the week, Saturday, Sunday, we can say that the whole day he watches sports program on the TV. And weekday evening too, not only weekend, every day, evening time, he watch, he watches sports channel on TV. So, more than his son, father is addicted of TV. While munching chips and pretzels, the room looks like a zoo. Now, very humorously poet has described when father watches TV, that time he munching, eating, Chips and pretzels, pretzels, biscuits. And that is why you, very uh, critically or sarcastically, the poet says, the room looks like a zoo. The room's condition is very bad, like a zoo. Means he eats chips and some of the parts he throws away. And all the wrapping papers, or do some uh, things spread, littering here and there, and that is why the room's condition is like a zoo. So he says that room looks like a zoo. And at the end of the stanza, poet has described, the boy says, so if he ever got the nerve, if nerve, nerve means emotion, feeling, if emotionally, father hang the TV from a branch of the tree. So if he ever got the nerve to hang it from a tree, what happened? He would spend a lot of time up there watching it with me. The father will spend his time, a lot of time, maximum time watching TV with me and we both of us will enjoy watching TV there on the tree. 
So very humorously, the poet has described. This poem is written by Bruce Lansky, one of the American poet, right? So, friends, uh, due to a lack of time, very hurriedly, actually, it takes a maximum 30 minutes or 40, 60 minutes to explain in detail. But I know very well YouTubers or the viewers do not have that much time. And that is why, in shortly, I have finished this poem. I'm sure you will like it. And at the end, I will say you, please subscribe my channel and share it. Thank you. Good day.